What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Bob's Garage and in this episode we're going to be talking about how to troubleshoot your tor torque converter to make sure that it's working properly. Alright guys, I am on the road doing some field testing so sorry about the road noise and the car noise and all that. Now here's the situation. Uh, after I got my car up and running with the new torque converter and all that. I noticed that at cruising speeds, let's say about 45 miles an hour, the car is in fifth gear. I noticed that my RPMs are surging. So they're going up uh, probably from like 1800 RPMs to 2000 RPMs and just keeps like kind of oscillating back and forth. And I was like, man, that's kind of weird. I thought maybe it was like something with my MAF. So I tried unplugging my MAF that didn't uh, make any difference with it and I noticed that it it seems to be happening in fifth gear um, sometimes in fourth gear you can kind of notice it a little bit more it's not as noticeable because fourth gear typically my RPMs are above 2000 and uh, when it surges in fourth gear it's just like really tiny oscillations on my tachometer so uh, I started doing some testing and stuff started doing some logging and all that so let me kind of show you what I'm dealing with. The car right now is in tip mode and I'm gonna kind of, I'm, I'm stopped. So I'm gonna show you like what it looks like um, from a stop. So um, by putting it in tip mode, it's supposed to lock the torque converter at least better. So here, I'm gonna shift into two. All right, now watch this, watch my RPMs. See how it kind of how it stutters there? And right, now the torque converter is locked up. Oh, I'm in traffic, so I'm gonna have to stop again. But right around like 2,500, 2,700 RPMs or so, you'll see the RPMs kind of dip, and the car bogs just a little bit, and then the torque converter locks up. So I am, um, or I was logging. I don't have my laptop um, plugged in right now, but uh, it gets to, like I said, somewhere right around here, and then you'll see the needle kind of dip down the car bogs a little bit and then it, it like engages or locks and then goes up now in terms of logs uh, I'm under the neat uh, or I'm log I was logging under the auto trans module so let's see if we can get up to speed here probably not but okay so I'm in first going to second now watch the rpms as I kind of climb here watch this see there it's fluctuating now it's locked and then it kind of goes and the car wants to go as soon as it locks up um, so what I'm trying to troubleshoot is, you know, number one, is it a torque converter issue? Number two, um, what's the problem? So is it a bad torque converter? I just got this guy. It still has a warranty and all that, the, the torque converter itself. So is it, you know, a bad torque converter or is it something else like, uh, like low fluid or something like that? So what I kind of came up with is, so watch, so we're going into two. Now watch the RPMs. Watch it, watch it, watch it. See, I don't know if you saw it, but it kind of stuttered a little bit at like 28. And now it's locked. It should be locked pretty well um, all the way through fourth gear. So, like, the car's fine. Everything's good. I'm in, I'm in third now. I got so much traffic, I don't think I'm going to be able to get up to uh, fourth gear anytime soon here. But uh, I wanted to kind of show you guys the symptoms of what happens when I get into fifth gear. So what I think I've concluded is it may be a, just a low fluid issue. When I um, got this installed and everything, I had pumped it full of fluid according to the procedure. So here's two. Watch those RPMs. Watch the. There goes a dip just a little bit there. Now we're locked. And trying to get out of traffic here. Nope, another red light. Okay. So it just unlocked right there, I could feel it. So when you're logging the, there's a, there's a, I wanna say it's, it's block number seven was the one that I was logging underneath Autotrans on the laptop. I'll have to pull it up. But there's three different states of the torque converter. There's open, there's closed, and then there's reg, R-E-G. Almost like regulating. 
And so when you're when you start out in first gear, it's open. The torque converter is open. And then once it gets into like second gear, at least on my car, in tip mode. Once I get into second gear, like I showed you how the RPMs dip just a little bit, that's when it closes. So the torque converter closes from second gear. This is in tip mode. Third gear, it stays closed. Fourth gear, it stays closed. And then typically when I get into fifth gear, it's like a cruising, then it opens up. And it, well, it doesn't open up. It doesn't go to open, it goes to regulating, which means it's allowing some sort of slip. Um, now this is a lot different when I'm in um, non-tip mode. Let's see here. Okay, two. There it goes. Did you see that big? That was a big jump there. That was a torque converter locking. And I gotta hit my brakes. Okay, so now I'm in fourth gear. And because my RPMs are so low, it might have it might have slipped out. Or it might not be locked. Well, let me see if I can get up a little bit faster speed. Okay. So here's where I was testing about 45 miles an hour. Now watch. Watch. I'm gonna put on the cruise control here. Watch my RPM surge. Sorry for all the bumps. You guys see that? The RPMs are surging about 200 RPMs. So that's what I'm talking about. That's while I'm in fifth gear. And that's kind of was what ticked me off that there was something wrong. Um, I, also, the car doesn't like launch as, as well as it should, um, which I also think is RPM related, or I'm sorry, torque converter related. So we're in third, we're in fourth, about 45 miles an hour, we'll go into fifth, okay. Alright, cruise control is on guys. Look at the RPMs right there. That's what's happening. Alright guys, so this is just going to be a short video. Um, I asked some questions about this online, and other people were saying that they noticed similar issues when they swapped out their torque converter for high performance torque converters. Um, someone said that in their experience, it's a low fluid issue, meaning like they said that they typically have to pump their transmission full of fluid two times. Um, I'm gonna try that tonight and see how that uh, affects the performance and stuff. Uh, obviously, we can't rule out that it might be a bad torque converter. I mean, that's just the way it is. You know what I mean? Like, that's why they have warranties and stuff. So, um, but, uh, when the car is not in tip mode, like when it's over here, it's, uh, according to the logs, it's like almost always in that regulating mode or REG mode. And you can see my RPMs are fluctuating because it's in fifth gear when I, when I do it. So now I'm back in the tip. I'm gonna go down one gear, down into fourth. And I think it's closed again, yeah. So now it's not fluctuating anymore. So, like I said, I'm gonna keep testing this out, playing with it, and once I get this sorted out, what I'll do is I'll go back and I'll um, show you guys how to do this via logs or logging. Uh, you will need a VAGCOM cable. I use VCDS, and I know like a lot of guys wanna buy like a cheap cable or cheap uh, software or free software or something. Guys, if you're gonna be working on these cars yourself, like spend the extra 100 or 200 bucks, get a legit cable, so you can use VCDS, and then you don't have to kind of try to hunt and peck and hope that shit works. So I bought my cable used off of eBay. It was like 130 bucks or something like that. And I've had it for over two years, and it uh, works uh, with VCDS. I, don't, I didn't have to pay any like license keys or anything like that for the software. Um, I guess this, this uh, dongle cable or whatever it's called just works. So pick one up used if you come across one or whatever. Uh, mine's just the USB one. Plugs right into the USB port of my laptop. Uh, I know they make Bluetooth ones and all kinds of other shit. People are uh, using small little tablets and cool stuff like that to uh, get it to work or to, to do logging. But uh, I can't tell you how much this VCDS cable and software has saved my ass. So, um... That's it for now. I'll keep this short, but I kind of wanted to keep you guys in the loop as to what's going on. And there's there's a few other issues that I need to track down with the car. I got to get it aligned and all that. You know, my front tires are kind of wearing out. 
Um, but uh, yeah, this this transmission issue was was really concerning me because I just spent three months replacing this, and now I'm I'm having issues as of day one. So it's been like this for uh, I've been driving it for a few days or so, and yeah. So we're gonna figure it out. I just wanted to keep you guys posted. I'm sure this video will help someone in the future. Um, but I know someone else said that they uh, swapped transmissions on an all road and it had the same surging issues. So um, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna try to pump it again and hopefully that fixes it. Stay tuned for more guys. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time.